Hello mis amigos and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Oh wait. Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day and today we're back in the kitchen. We are gonna cook what celebrities want me to cook. Want me to make, want me to eat, want me to devour. Anyway, today I thought you guys have suggested me to do some recipes or one recipe in particular by a celebrity. I was a little bit intrigued, although I was also really afraid of that recipe, but I decided to just combine this recipe, not combine it, but do it in a video in which I also try other celebrities' recipes. Other recipes by celebrities, whatever, well, whatever. <laughs> so here we are, and this is that video. Also, I'm hungry, and it's lunchtime, so I just decided to quickly turn on the camera and just film, you know, as you do, just casually. So fun three recipes, they aren't the craziest recipes, except for one, which is the one you guys suggested, that I'm also... I don't even know if it's a real thing, let's be honest, but what even is real? Hmm. Oh my god. In keeping this intro short, because that is how we do intros on this channel now, <laughs> since last week, I think we should start with the first recipe. And the first recipe is by none other than Mrs. Kylie Jenner. I don't even know when, but apparently she once uploaded her ramen recipe on Snapchat and people went crazy according to the internet, <laughs> according to BuzzFeed, I think. And so we're gonna put that recipe to the test and see if it's any good. It's supposed to be garlic, ramen noodles thingy, mabob. And I like ramen, and I like garlic. I saw that there's an egg in there, which uh, we all know I'm not too fond of, but maybe you can taste it. I found the recipe in a BuzzFeed article that usually includes pictures, but for some reason it always says this image is no longer available and the instructions aren't too clear. I think we can make this work. Oh yeah, it says recently she posted a Snapchat where she shared her ramen recipe and people freaked out in capital letters. Oh, the article is from 2016, so I don't think people are that crazy about that recipe anymore. We're all about reviving old trends, right? You need two cups of water, one egg, one packet of ramen noodles, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one half tablespoon of butter. I don't know how much one packet of ramen noodles is. I bought these Korean noodle number 20 ramen. Great for soup and salad. All right, guys, let's move on over to the stove. Alrighty guys, welcome to the stove. We're gonna bring two cups of water to a boil. Wow, look at the boiling water. Let's add the ramen noodles. Let them cook for four minutes. All right, while the ramen noodles are cooking, we're gonna take care of our egg, which we're gonna have to beat that egg. I feel like I definitely bought the wrong noodles. She probably has done it with like instant ramen noodles. But anyway, now that the four minutes are over, we're gonna get rid of half of the water in here. And I'm gonna try and figure out how to do that. <laughs> now let's mix in the beaten egg. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think I've got too much water in there still. <laughs> Scrambled egg pieces. I don't know if that's normal. This does look very eggy, but I think we can drown this in like a lot of garlic powder. So I think I'm gonna take more than a tablespoon that the recipe suggests. <laughs> this looks wrong, <laughs> but it's fine. Well, let's just add the most important ingredient, which is a tablespoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, of garlic powder. Maybe I'll add a bit more and also a bit of butter. I don't know how much. It said half a teaspoon, but they put in more in the other recipe that I watched, so I think that's a good amount. Mix that all together. I think we can add some salt to this as well because there's nothing in there. All right, I guess I'm gonna put this in a bowl. This is not a bowl. But our lunch, our quick and easy lunch is done. It looks very interesting. I added some herbs just to make it look a little more appetizing. It didn't really help much. It looks like a big fat colorless blob, but as long as it tastes good, buen provecho, it sounds good. If you like the sound. Mm. This needs flavor. <laughs> Put a bit more garlic on top. And um, this likes flavor. Very tempted to just put tahini on it because <laughs> of spice, but 
You know what? How about this mushroom <laughs> seasoning mixture? Season mix, whatever. At least it doesn't taste like egg. You know, I think the idea of it is very nice because it makes it very creamy and very rich if you like that. But flavor-wise, it's just missing everything. But maybe if you were to just do your instant ramen and then do the egg and garlic thingy, then I think it could be nice. But just with plain ramen noodles, this is not it. That being said, I will be back after I've found some proper lunch because I'm hungry. So after this amazing experience making and eating Kali Jenna's ramen, we move on to an actor who has made something very interesting that I never thought I would ever make. But I'm doing YouTube videos, so obviously I'm gonna make it. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it is finally time for the one and only Robert Pet... Oh, Pattinson <laughs> to appear on this channel. <laughs> I was gonna call him Patterson again. Robert Pattinson. Pattinson. I mean, I'm so confused now. So, Mr. Robert Pattinson, which sounds wrong, <laughs> is gonna make an appearance on this channel today, here and now. Well, in the form of his recipe and in the form of his interview with GQ, I think last year during lockdown. And in this video, he said he thought of this crazy recipe or amazing recipe that he wants to sell and turn into something really big. And he wants us to eat pasta like burgers or something like that, I don't even know. I'm just afraid, honestly. But I'm also very excited to expand my Pasta Horizon. Yeah. Okay, well first off, the first thing he does is he microwaves his pasta, which is like why? Ew. <laughs> and then he lets it cook for like eight minutes where I'm like, why don't you just do it on your stove? But anyway, let's just do that, I guess. When he made that for GQ, he used penne, but I think what he actually likes to use is tagliatelle because he says Do you know the pasta that's like a little, it's like a blob, a sort of squiggly blob? Then the interviewer said Gnocchi? And it's like, why would that be gnocchi? Anyway, then he says No, 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 it looks like, what would you even call it? It looks like a sort of messy, like the hair bun of a girl. So I think it's definitely tagliatelle. That looks like a hair bun, right? We don't even have a bowl anymore. These are totally hair buns. He was so talking about tagliatelle. I don't know why that in our Rio I had absolutely no clue about life. <laughs> I'm gonna take two of these nests. They don't fit. I'm not gonna take two of these nests. Now he says to cover that with water and put it in the microwave for eight minutes. I um... Meanwhile, we can start creating our construction that we need in order to make this recipe happen, okay? Okie dokily, we're gonna need aluminum foil. He makes a bed, a kind of hollowed out sphere with a foil, which I think we can create. How tall do you think it has to be? This looks like a great hollowed out sphere, but is this big enough? I'm not a big, big enough to pay your dues. Shout out to anyone who's watched Empire. Oh, I've never finished that show. Now, essentially, this is a bowl. Why don't we just use a bowl? I don't know. We want to ruin the environment. Great. Let's get to the disgusting part. For absolutely no reason whatsoever, Mr. Pattinson says, I found out after a lot of experimentation that you really need to congeal everything in an enormous amount of sugar and cheese. Fine. Great. Oh, wait, no, I forgot a step. Before the sugar comes cornflakes. He adds them because he did not have any breadcrumbs. So our cornflakes are basically our outer layer, which is just gourmet cooking. We don't judge just yet. Great, I feel like I could have just cooked that, but anyway. Let's cover our cornflakes in sugar. Uh -huh. I mean, he said a lot of sugar, but this just is wrong. Oh fuck. So I got some cheese, and he said he puts a lot of layers of cheese on it. So much cheese. Then more sugar, he said. It really needs a sugar crust. 
Then he adds sauce, which is red. That is literally the only thing we know about it. So I've got some tomato sauce, which does not smell amazing, but we're just gonna dump on top anyway. Now it looks good. Next, he dumps the pasta on top. Um, let's dump it on top. What a beautiful nest of pasta. He pours more sugar on top, obviously. So mine has turned a little bit big, but anyway, he then takes the top part of a burger bun, hollows it out, and places it on top. I mean, technically, we could just do that. <laughs> so the thing is, now he starts burning this bun with a giant novelty lighter. We don't have that. We have a lighter. <laughs> Let me just burn this. <laughs> it says, at this point he accidentally ignites one of his latex gloves, which promptly melts onto his palm. He yells in pain. <laughs> what? So he just burned some initials on that, but I don't think I actually have to burn this. And now our bun, beautiful thingy, can go into the oven for 10 minutes. So at this point I'm just wondering, is Robert Pattinson okay? Because... That just seems all sorts of wrong. Guys, suddenly our recipe looks totally different. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna eat my noodles now. Mm. See the thing is, how do you eat this? Ew, that and cheese and cornflakes and a lot of cornflakes. <laughs> That just looks very appetizing, just very lovely in it. So I don't know about the cornflakes because they're all crumbling down like on the bottom and it's like, yeah, where do they even, what the fuck is this? <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, mm. It's not bad. I mean, I would not use the word bad. There are also a couple things I just do not understand that I would personally call unnecessary. I get the idea. I do, however, not get the cornflakes. I understand he ran out of breadcrumbs and that is what he actually wanted to put down there, but like also why? <laughs> then secondly, why do we need the sugar? Please explain. I mean, maybe pasta on a burger could be nice, but why not even try to turn it into a sort of patty? Hmm, very questionable. That would just be my input I would give if I ever were to have a conversation with Mr. Robert Pattinson. But I feel like after this, I'm not sure if I really want to have a conversation with him. That being said, let me try and digest this and then I'll be right back with our last recipe and hopefully our savior of the day. Hi, alrighty guys. Guys, it's time for my personal lord and savior in the pop industry, in life in general. Ms. Robin Rihanna Fenty. My queen has released not an album, and also not recently, a recipe, a couple of recipes actually. She shared some of her recipes with Esquire, the magazine, and one of these recipes we're gonna do. It is called Macaris, and it's essentially her version of mac and cheese, hence the name Macaris. I love the name, I really wanted to make that because of the name, and not because it involves Rihanna. <laughs> So it's a bit of a different version of a mac and cheese. I wouldn't know because I actually never had mac and cheese. I think I bought a packaged mac and cheese once and made that. Don't you also put it in the oven afterwards? Because Rihanna doesn't do that. So I'm probably not the best judge in terms of how mac and cheesy it is, but I'm the best judge to judge how amazingly tasty it is. Anyway, let's just get started. I'll see you guys in... Six to eight minutes. It says small elbow macaroni and I only found, oh no, oh no. The directions are actually really, really easy. What we're gonna have to do is drain the macaroni once they're done or whatever the, this type of pasta is called that I just made. We're gonna leave a bit of water in the pot, place the macaroni back in the pot and return it to the stove. On a low flame, we're gonna add half a yellow onion and then also about two spring onions, but that seems very excessive to me. So I'm just gonna add one. Half of a red bell pepper, julienne. I had to Google that. <laughs> 
Then we're gonna mix it all together. And once that is combined, we're gonna add a quarter cup of yellow mustard and a quarter cup of ketchup. And then we're supposed to add about half a teaspoon of Eaton's Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce, which I couldn't find in Germany. I didn't look at many places, but like I needed it quickly and I couldn't find that. I think I'm just gonna add a little spice in the form of Tabasco. Lastly, we're gonna add some cheese, namely about 450 grams. Re asked for Colby Jack cheese. I googled, you cannot get this cheese in Germany. And most of the people said that the best German equivalent to that is Gouda. And then you basically stir it all the time. And then if it's still too stiff, you add some more water to loosen your dish. I have no idea how I'm gonna serve this. <laughs> what? Great. Oh my God. What the fuck? Okay. I've never made anything so cheesy. And I have done some romantic things in my life. See, I'm not even laughing. <laughs> and now will you look at this amazing macaroni. Wow. Rihanna. 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 This better be good is all I'm trying to say to you. Also, where's the album? Let's try our macaroni. This is pretty bomb. Why do I like this? Mmm, 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 mmm. The mustard and ketchup is really working with this. It's probably good that I don't know the original mac and cheese. Wow. Okay, gourmet chef, judge, inspector. I'm okay with it. I would eat it if you would cook it, but I, I wouldn't make it. <laughs> I did cook it. I think I just don't like the bell pepper in there actually. No pepper allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows this song? Just listen to it, it's a great song from a great album. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't cry, but the video is over. My tummy is full, my heart is and happier. Holly Jenner's recipe was just super boring and bland. Robert Pattinson, like, why, why? I'm glad that, as I have predicted, Ms. Riri is our Lord and Savior. <laughs> I'm gonna walk home with this pot. I am home. That being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Y entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Y bye. Yeah.